hey guys welcome back to my channel and today i don't have a microphone i'm only using my camera's phone and still learning the setup believe me i have already tried take two three for this video <laughs> because first the camera is memory low i deleted all everything and then i seen it's still full so i have to format the sd card all this i can actually use my phone but then it's time to upgrade to a real camera that was the goal initially when i started this channel so anywho i hope this is all good you can hear me properly and sorry for the noise neighbors doing some renovation construction and some babies crying maybe on the side not mine neighbors again so yes today is a different kind of video this is not a fountain pen video this is for my friends here who are also following me for my planners and journals journey so today is the day that i'm gonna share with you my first planner for 2025 and it's arrived it's a file of facts so maybe i will put it on the thumbnail but this is just an unboxing i'm still doing some research on the best inserts and all i'm just gonna unbox and share my joy with you my friends <laughs> online my subscribers my viewers and yes this is are we gonna unbox now or i'm gonna take you through why i'm back back to filofax okay a little bit of history my first first planner has always been rings since 2015 officially which means that i started using branded rings but ever since high school maybe elementary i've been using binder notebooks ever so i'd really cry to my mom like buy me a binder even though it's not what the school requires so i like how the rings i can rearrange i can format or do it on my own and you know the flow inside so make make the story the long story short uh i'm back with rings because since 2015 i was with filofax i mean not filofax i started with a brand called Kiki K from Australia and I don't know why it's quiet now nowadays I heard it's been acquired with a different owner and this is my first Kiki K sorry if it's really really bright on the screen it's a yellow it's it's a leather and this is the brand the Kiki K one the leather so far hold held up like after so many years the gold trim is still gold um, I'm not sure what the size of this ring could be, but it's still gold, guys. No tarnish, no discoloration of whatsoever. So, um, I believe this is a really good quality binder. It's just parked for a while. It's actually my... It's not that I didn't... I put this to waste, but I just didn't use it yet. This is an A5 size, so I find it really bi big on my desk. And it's, it's really like also very bulky to carry around. So I have to set this aside for the past, I think, five years. I don't know if the lighting is okay with you people, but to me, in the screen, it's okay. Um, yes, so that's the first ring 2015 officially that i used and it's with sorry it's with the happy planner um inserts that i um punched and put it there and set it up so after that uh, i find it so big and i work in the corporate world i think i've mentioned it in one of my older videos and i was gifted with a kate spade see this Kate Spade um, ring binder as well but now the purpose for this is all my sticker um, icon sticker or you know those one-off stickers sticker flakes I'm I'm compiling it I'm, I might share this one with you guys soon but this is again a ring binder and a gold one 
okay i love i love this uh, planner but when i made this i mean i use this it's bulky and it cannot close anymore so since this is a zip uh, planner i mean a binder i rather use this for my sticker stash and shout out to my friend my ex boss puja she gifted me this like 2016 december if i'm not mistaken as a christmas gift so this is another ring so this i think i have to title this video as ring planners <laughs> and then i have this safiano original i mean filofax and now it's gone to this damaged state now i learned guys that safiano really is not a leather okay um, i'm i just came to know it's just some kind of a pu cover leather leatherette that i used this for 2016 17 i believe when i was already transitioning from office to home base i mean yeah i was pregnant with my second born and i had to i used this for a while and then when i was pregnant i stopped and yeah nothing else here i i made this like an archive of everything of all my inserts from my kate spain so there is a hell a chopper on top of my roof you might hear it i i i saw this one um list on my list way back 2016 all my grail um planners so see this was my list and i am i saw that there's the gate space which i already got and the yellow kiki k the a5 and this was my goal as well the malden and the louis vuitton mg m m what's the size mm agenda so i do believe that when you manifest you get it so you see this was way back 2016 when i made this list now i do get the malden malden in ochre which was on my wish list but 2020 when all this stology madness started to me i mean i heard about it at least late, later like 2020 2021 when the pandemic starts i explored that notebook and i decided to de-ring it me being me i de-ringed it myself and so now much regret yes because this is a b6 sized notebook actually that can fit but well the damage has been done and i cannot bring it back again unless i strip off the leather here so that's it i do have the malden but not on with rings so i don't think this is still falls to the ring binders <laughs> but yeah now 2025 coming 2025 i am happy to announce that i will be joining the ring squad so this was 2017 um hopefully you guys will still follow me i know some here are traveler's notebook um hobonichi of course but see i i decided not to get another safiano although tempting because there's a lot of beautiful colors of safiano now i'm doing my very first love as well which is the original patent leather of filofax i used to really really like this guys but it's very difficult very rare to get and also was pricey when i was comparing safiano between safiano and this of course i i want to start with safiano first if i will really like it and then jump on to another level but yes safiano i think if i'm not mistaken is the basic um along with the other printed filofax binders so i got this from amazon japan and yes this is not dated see all these um safiano leathers are i mean yeah is peel, are peeling off and making a mess so this is the not 
dated like 2025 this is the og guys can you see sorry if the ring light is um bothering you but i just want to show the actual nude tan color so as you can see this is a type of leather patent they call it which is a glossy one this is my first time and hopefully nothing spilling off and all and although this is not a gold ring i'm still a little bit you know i'm looking forward to changing it again but no <laughs> it's very difficult with filofax and it's a little bit on the pricier side i might try it with moterm and other planner covers but in the future but now this is what we are going to use for 2025 i do have all these basic boring inserts except i can use this obviously the uh, ruler but i'm not happy with of course the insert that are very few there's no dated ones as well and the plain dividers i might play this first before i share it my setup with you guys but hopefully you can also help me and comment down below the inserts that i can consider like i'm looking to printing my own but let's see with my time and my schedule i'm hoping to uh, buy a printed ones already i was looking at kina prints but i think she's only selling uh printable ones which is i have to print and cut it myself i am also looking at cloth and paper which is from another part of the continent shipping to asia which is a bit on a pricier side but i don't know if it's worth it i know there's a lot of printables freebies even so i'm i will start i have three months to set this up hopefully <laughs> so you guys, I'm waiting for your comment. Please do if you're a ring, ring team rings here. I'm looking forward to your comments in the comment section and let me know what inserts you're using. And also, if I I know it's more practical if I print it myself, but I am very keen on what paper to use because I have a lot of fountain pens and I'm I'm looking at leaning to that direction of using my pens utilizing all my fountain pens and inks but the normal uh printed ones i mean the paper is not really that uh fountain pen friendly so if you do have also any suggestions of a an a4 paper print printable or what do you call that print friendly hp i have an hp um pro printer here which uses the toner not the liquid ink so i've inked this up i've loaded the ink since 2016 i think and until now the toner are still full like i i can use this printer but i really need a good quality paper so and hopefully not the really really white one if you are watching this and you are also using the same process of printing your own inserts I will really appreciate if you can help me. Thank you so much and please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. It's a small thing to just hit that bell and you know subscribe button. Um, you can help a small channel here to grow and yes you will see more of this setup next year because I'm leaning towards that but it doesn't mean that I'm saying goodbye to all the other planners and journals that i am used to be doing that's why you are here on my channel once again i'm happy that you've stayed and yes this is just a quick unboxing and so far i'm loving this and hopefully in my next coming videos you will see my 2025 setup and how i use inserts and what works for me I, i'm also watching so many youtubers um with rings not necessarily filofax but yes i will subscribe to your channel drop your channel name below in the comments and yeah thank you so much and i will see you on my next one bye